Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I'm a late sub in uh, for President Biden. Uh, and so on behalf of President Biden, First Lady, my wife, Vice President Harris, congratulations to the 2023 Major League Soccer Champions, the Columbus Crew. Welcome to the White House. To all the members of Congress, and other distinguished guests, thank you for joining us and thank you for the work that you do each and every day. It's great to be with all of you today. Now, second gentleman, I have traveled to Columbus, Ohio several times, so I've been here a great, your great city. And one thing I've learned during my travels is just how big of a sports town Columbus is, especially with their loyal ride or die fans of the crew. And I've always loved soccer. I grew up actually playing it as a kid. Uh, at my summer camp, I was actually voted most athletic. And <laughs> Hard to believe now, but and I played a lot of soccer, and this was back in the 70s. Um, later in life, I was one of those proud soccer dads for my kids. First, I was their coach. That did not go well. I was too annoying. Uh, but then I became a referee, and I had a lot of fun wearing that yellow outfit, the short shorts, and the big long socks, and especially that whistle. Um, I don't think my kids uh, enjoyed that part as much when they were playing on the field and I was a referee. But these days, I'm still a massive fan. I get up early to watch the sport, um, and last year, I led the presidential delegation to the opening ceremony of the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, and that was a real honor. Just a couple of months ago, thank you. And just a couple of months ago, I had the honor of representing the United States at the closing ceremonies of the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, where I watched the U.S. women's national soccer team take home the gold. And now, I get to join you all for today's celebration. Now, Columbus Crew is a team that exemplifies excellence. Since 1996, you've won nine major trophies. That's, that's a lot. During the 2023 regular season, you were the top scoring team in the MLS for the first time in the club's history. In round one of the playoffs, you beat Atlanta in three hard-fought hard games. In the semis, you shut out Orlando on the road. It's a big deal. And in the conference finals, you capped a legendary comeback against your Cincinnati rivals, came back from 2-0 down at the half to win 3-2 in extra time. Before the championship match, Coach Nancy, you shared an important lesson with the team. You reminded them that you have one virtue in life, and that's courage. Without courage, you can't do anything. And courage is exactly what you showed in that championship match. You played brave, taking risks, attacking early and often, and relying on each other. And it paid off. By the end of the game, you were champions once again for your second MLS Cup in four years. You're not on. You're not only champions on the field, you're leaders off the field too. Through the Columbus Crew's community efforts, you are developing new fields for kids to play soccer, providing equipment to help more kids pick up the sport and combating chronic absenteeism in Ohio with the Stay in the Game initiative. Through your work and dedication, you have made the central Ohio community and our entire nation incredibly proud. And part of why I personally love sports so much is that sports brings us together. Sports unifies us. And as we all know, we actually have way more in common than what divides us. There may be a lot of hate and division out there at this moment, but sports, it brings people and our country together. And that's what you all do each and every day. You inspire people across our nation. You lift them up with a sense of joy and community. 
you show them what true leadership actually looks like. And this is something that Coach Nancy knows a thing or two about. So right before the MLS Cup Final, Coach Nancy showed all of you pictures of yourselves as kids. He reminded you, his team, to play with the same joy you did when you were young and to help lighten the mood before a high pressure match. So coach, in only two seasons as head coach, you're already making just a huge mark. You're setting an example for coaches all across the country and all around the world. So Columbus crew, congratulations once again on your championship and good luck on the rest of the 2024 season. Now please join me in welcoming the winning coach, Coach Nancy. Thank you. Thank you, second gentleman, Doug Emma. And thank you to the President Biden for this special invitation. It's an honor to be here. It's a privilege also. We have our team. And to represent our club, our fans, and Columbus. We are celebrating our 2023 MLS Cup today. We are always focused on continuing to write our story. As people, and as a team. For my story, I never expected to be here today. That's why I don't like expectation. <laughs> Not just at the White House, but coaching in America. In France, I knew I wanted to be a head coach one day. I learned early in my career I was too slow as a player also. So I needed to stay on the task and stay on the present moment to get better as a coach and to understand myself as a human being, and then also my dream. That is what we did last year. And we recognize we, we could be limitless. And this is the most important thing, be limitless. But first, we had to be together. We built our values. We built trust. who we are as a people, who we are as a team, and the adversity that we face together is why we are champions. The challenges we faced made us stronger. We grew together, and it made us better, but not just as players. For me, even if we didn't win the trophy, we would still be champions. Because of the work we put in together, our culture, and the belief we have in one another. I like to say that it's not about results, but the connection that we have and the great people within the organization that make last year and our club special. Because of this, we are able to compete but also to have joy. And that joy shows in the way that we play on the pitch. The way that we trust one another and the way we can evoke emotions for our fans. This is our story. And we are proud of that. Last year's championship is one chapter and we look forward to writing the next one Thank you, players. Thank you, staff. Thank you, the club and all the organization. And thank you again, second gentleman and the president. <laughs> 